Uh, you must be delighted with the reception that the film's had so far across the world. Yes, it's like it's a really warm reception from the audience. So we're really happy because we want. For me, it's like for us, it's a powerful movie with a, a vision, you know, a female gaze that is important now. I think. I mean, in cinema, we don't. We very rarely get stories like this, and it seems like such a tragedy that we that we don't. Are you hopeful that this kind of helps to change people's mindset that these movies can be powerful and can be uh, accepted by different audiences? I hope. Uh, I feel like it's stories that we've been missing. It's woman's story with a woman visions, and I hope you know it's something that people are happy to and happy and and feel that it's important to to get and to bring home back home. And that's stories that talk to to them. Tell us about uh, this relationship between you two. I mean, it's fantastic on screen. Was that an easy thing to... Did you take your time to kind of make sure that it was quite measured and quite intimate so that it came off the screen in, in such a way? Uh, we didn't really... Uh, we didn't at all uh, prepare together, Adele and I. We prepared our character, but separately, before the shooting. And then we wanted to really create our, our story in the moment present, like during the shooting as Eloise and Marianne who are building their love story and their collaboration as artists. So it was really a parallel in the present moment. Yeah. That was Tell me about working with a filmmaker like Celine. I mean, what do you think makes her such a unique filmmaker in, in modern cinema? Because she's, she's really, how can I say that? She's really serious. She say important things. She has really a vision in her movie, a way to create uh, an atmosphere, an environment in the shooting and in the film. What it, what it's said in the in the films and it's it's joyful. It's uh, there is a lot of like little secrets in this movie. There is uh, a new way to talk about love and inner erotism, and it's. A lot. It uses a lot the imaginary, the phantasm, and so it's it's really new and pleasant to you know, work with her. It's a really important film for so many reasons. What for you as a filmmaker led you to want to tell this story? Well, um, basically, I really wanted to tell, to dedicate the film to a love story and to create an iconic couple and uh, and to take the time to to bring another power dynamics to this storytelling of, uh, of love and to and also to to make it you know sexy and heartbreaking and in the process you know we are political so in the end it's political but uh, we really wanted to have a strong intimate film and that's also what i feel like when i see the audience it, it, the film belongs to them are you hopeful that this film uh, brings up the right discussions in many ways for the movie you wanted to make in terms of the story and the themes? I mean, are you hopeful that it, that it reaches a big, as big an audience as possible? Well, yeah, and mostly I'm hopeful that it will reach an audience worldwide. You know, if we have little islands everywhere, cinema is a nation, if we have little islands everywhere, if you're doing a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, Spain, throughout Europe, the States are having amazing response. This is the, this is the dream, you know. It's not only about making it at the box office. It's about making it kind of everywhere, like trying to yeah to bring this imaginary and this conversation uh, in every in, in the most country as possible. And that's what we're doing. So that's cool. Yeah. I know. I mean, obviously, people consume their movies in different ways now. Are you hopeful that people seek this out in the cinema, in the sort of art house cinemas, and really embrace it on the big screen? Yeah, we've we've been making those decisions even when you know a lot of people tried to purchase the film and we went for independent distributors all the way even in the United States to because we want to support art house and and the theater experience. So you know, and that's that's also why we we are accompanying the film throughout the world. It's uh, it's also to defend our culture. No, we are trying to invent a culture and also defend the culture. Mm. Just finally, a quick word on your leads. I mean, what, what made you settle on them both as, a, as, a, as an individuals and as a duo? I mean, what made them perfect for this, this particular story? You mean the cast? Yes. Well, it's two different things. Adele was, I had her in mind writing, so the process was all about um, relying, having confidence in what I knew about her and what we all know about her because she's become this strong figure in European cinema. And also offering her a new, 
partition, a new a possibility of her being new that she would work on. So that was the excitement. And as I was going to do that and looking at somebody that I know very well, I really wanted also to meet somebody because this has always been part of the pleasure of making cinema for me. And so we came upon Noemi. I'm doing this because she's just over there. Uh, and when I saw the two of them in the frame, it was a blast. My heart was racing and I felt like this is a new duo and, and it could be iconic because they're equally intense but they have this beautiful contrast and I was I just wanted to make the film then and you know bring it out. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!